Hey everybody, it's Savvy That Simmer and welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited today because I'm going to be going over a brand new safe file that I have actually never seen before and I've never dived into. So this is a first impression with you guys and I honestly cannot wait to get into it. You guys know me, you guys know how much I love safe files and I have been on the hunt for a while y'all. I have. Honestly, I kind of like naming myself a safe file searcher because that's kind of like what I am. Savvy the safe file searcher. Okay, maybe it's a little too cheesy, but anyways, I am always on the hunt for a good safe file because I'm going to be honest with you guys, the EA base game version is crusty, dusty, boring, and especially the lots, the Sims, I mean, the game came out in 2014. So I love and appreciate every single Simmer that comes out with a brand new save file for us and put their love, passion, and all of their hard work into a beautiful save file with gorgeous new builds, gorgeous new sims. I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead and check this one out. This one is by Dreamscar X. I found this on Tumblr and let me tell you, I had to dive to find this one and I'm so glad that I did because it looks incredible. Again, first impression. We're going to be doing it together. I'm going to put the link in the description down below. If you guys would like to download it, all you'll have to do is scroll down to the very bottom of this website and just download it here at the Sim File Share website. I really like this website a lot because it's very secure. People that create CC or save files or whatever, you, you have to have permission to upload on this site. So I just like it. It feels pretty safe. The creator did say that they did use um, all of the packs. So it's not pack restricted. So if you don't have all the packs or the kits, unfortunately, there might be some stuff that is missing for you. But most of the time, I believe the game either replaces stuff that's missing or you can just go in yourself and replace it. I did want to let you guys know that these are the worlds that will be in the save file. This is not a completed save file so just keep that in mind as well. There will be different versions of this but at this time it does have Willow Creek, Newcrest, Magnolia Promenade, and Sam Machuno. In addition to that, here are the other simmers that helped create this save file. Um, they used our townies for it so Brownie the Goat, Plum Set, Simple Sim, Sim Noya, and also King's Bomb as well. And as always, I like to show you guys how it looks like when it shows up in your game. So since I haven't been in this yet, this is what it's gonna look like when you first load up the save file or you're just your game in general. So yeah, this one here says the save file name and then these are the packs that I'm apparently missing. So it just looks like I'm missing a lot of the kits, but honestly, that doesn't bother me too much. So let's go ahead and check out the game. What you'll do is you'll just hit play with missing content. So just a reminder, Sam Machuno, Magnolia Promenade, Newcrest, Willow Creek. So let's go ahead and check out Willow Creek first. I don't really like to start there anyways, but look at this, you guys. Like this honestly feels like such a vibe, like such a vibe, especially all these trees out here. Like this over here feels like more of like, you know, the town. And then over here we have like where um, our families live and everything like that. And I love this Willow Creek Park. To be honest with you guys, I don't think I've ever seen the Willow Creek Park set up like an actual or like a little like rec center. I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen anyone do that before. So off the bat, I'm already impressed with how Willow Creek um, Park looks because normally Magnolia Park is just like a big like nature park. So I'm really excited to check this out. And I like all the little car details, but look at all these businesses right here. We have a restaurant, we have a nightclub, we have um, a clothing and music store and it's owned by a family that lives in San Machuno. And then we also have a Staples Office Center. Like, what? That's going to be so cute, you guys. And then we have a Hampton Inn. It's apparently a cafe, but I'm sure the Hampton Inn... I'm sure the Hampton... I cannot say that. Hampton Inn is probably a hotel slash, um, like, cafe. So that's pretty cool. You can take your Sims there. And then it's actually right beside a wedding venue. So I can totally, like, see some storytelling people come in here and having their sims you know have their family members come stay here at the handsome inn and then have their sims get married the next day i love that and then over here is i think maybe a church i'm assuming because this is mount zeon i think that's a church correct me if i'm wrong and then child's therapy center so that's cool too and then we have a global gym and then over here we have a community pool like this feels like an actual little town like doesn't it and it kind of reminds me of the same vibes of like kind of like where I'm from to be honest with you so over here we have courtyard lane townhomes so we have another townhome it looks like a, a duplex over here and then we have apartments so you can actually now that we have the for rent expansion pack you guys can go in here and 
um, change this to an actual residential rental and change these apartments to function with the new pack. So that's so much fun. I love that. And then these are, oh, okay. So these are income apartments. That's cool. Also where I'm from too, there is like low income and, or they do it like based off of your salary and they have like apartments and um, like duplexes and stuff where you can like have like low income apartments. So that's actually really cool and so realistic. I love that. And then we have some other homes here. So it looks like three little starter homes over here and then maybe one big one. So I can't wait to check this out. There's no families living in here currently. So this is completely empty. So you can put whoever you want in here, which I think is really cool too, especially for those of you. I personally love save files that you already have families, but a lot of people too I've learned recently personally like to put their own families in here or grab them off the gallery to kind of make their own save file. So this is really cool already. Um, I like that personal touch. I think it's very unique. And then moving over to Newcrest again, we don't have any families that are living in here, but these are all homes that are all ready for you guys to move in. But I kind of like this. It's kind of like a blank slate in a way. So it's like you know, you can put whoever you want to, especially for storytelling. I feel like it's almost more personal that way. You know what I mean? So anyways, Newcrest has a PetSmart retail center. That is going to be super fun to check out. Then we have an Academy Sport. They own this too. And then we have a Newcrest Food Mart. Oh my God, this is going to be so cool. A Lazy Boy Furniture Store and then a Skating Rink. I wonder if this creator is like from a similar town where I'm actually from in real life because I'm telling you, these vibes feel so similar. It's crazy. And then moving on over to Magnolia Promenade, we have a Magnolia Credit Union and then we have an outlet store that's huge. I can't wait to check out those details. And then we have a Magnolia Photo Studio. So cool. This is such a realistic safe file. Like I'm already impressed by all these builds. Like these are incredible. Okay. So here we go. So here are all of the households. I'm really loving this already. It looks like the creator went ahead and focused on all of the households for the San Myshuno first. Let's go ahead and check them out. looks like there is a lot already, but we do have two families in the Alto apartments. And then over here at the Chick Streak apartments, we do have families filled up. So looks like Sam Machino is has been really focused on in this. He is missing a shirt. Don't pay attention, okay, guys? <laughs> Erica Jameson has tried her best to shield her son from her dad's lifestyle and hide what she does for a living, which is a dancer at the Vanilla Unicorn. Oh my god, you guys, this is already so like spicy. She dreams of moving her and herself to the suburbs and leaving the city life behind and meeting the love of her life. Daryl Guy is your typical player. He is a non-committal, so marriage is out of the question for him. He is also an all-star player of San Machino's son's basketball team. Okay, so here's the dad, Daryl, and he's non-committal. He's also lazy. He's a hothead, and he's also a basketball player. Wow, he sounds like he is a really charming guy, but he also sounds like he's very dangerous. So... Erica is so cute, by the way. She's a family-oriented sim. She's self-assured, and she's romantic, and she has a cute little sunny baby. Honestly, it just sounds like she's in, like, a really bad situation, and I hope she could get out of it. I think this would be really fun to play. Also, the creator did say that she has um, a lot of different, like, mods that she plays with this save file, and I think one of them that she mentioned was Wicked Whims because there is a um, stripper, like, version to it which is so fun and so cool so um you could do that with her if you wanted to but there's also a version with wicked whims where you can have a blurred sensor effect so if you don't want to have all like the nitty-gritty like you know adult version of wicked whims you guys can do the streamer mode so you know you can at least have that in there if you wanted to so i think that's pretty cool and then, okay, you know what? I wonder if this is supposed to be, oh yeah, okay, here's the nightclub. Oh yeah, there you go, guys, the night. Okay, so right here is the Vanilla Unicorn. This is where she works at. So this is the strip club she works at. Oh my God, I love this already. This is so spicy. I love spicy storylines and drama. You guys know me. Antoinette wants to become an engineer. Studying long hours with top grades, she is determined to reach her dreams. Jalen Gibbs wants to become a basketball player and be dropped into Sam Machino's son's basketball team. Okay, so I'm not sure if they are supposed to be maybe their roommates or a couple. I'm not quite sure. We could take a look at that or I could save that for you guys to take a look at. I think I'll do that so there's a little bit of like surprise for you guys. So she's a geek. Um, she's a 
vegetarian and she's also an overachiever and he wants to be a friend of the world and a basketball player so i love that also i'm really loving the diversity in the safe house so far and the representations and these things are absolutely gorgeous too by the way tasha david wants to be an actress and make it in the big city while working at the vanilla unicorn she's hoping she can make enough money to go to acting school oh okay so here we go we have little tasha over here she's also a stripper oh my god so we will definitely have to check out the vanilla unicorn a lot when we get done with these townies but that is so cool you guys i'm, I'm living for it like this is so cool and then we also have this like little apartment over here that's empty as well but yeah she has a lot of money by the way i would probably cheat that down um and then let's see how much money they have too they have 744 dollars. so yeah they're like b right now <laughs> just kidding but real you know the economy right now is shit you guys let's be honest let's be honest this is the family that has two businesses that i noticed so we have kurt and cecilia are at the top of their careers and are very successful they love the city but now they want to move out of their apartment and purchase their first home and start a family but cecilia is hesitant to have children because now she wants to start her own restaurant will she put her restaurant on hold or will she pursue her dream marcus freeman is the star basketball player will he remain the star when the new rookie shows up sorry if any of that is like a little um weird the way i'm saying it sometimes like there isn't commas when people write their bios so i'm sorry if i like mess up anything in there but i get what they're saying um here's kurt right here and then here's marcus um so he's the basketball player and then we have cecilia i'm loving like all these basketball players in this save file i think this is a really cool save file um so far from what i'm seeing Joseph Stevens and Marcel met in college. She is a starting basketball player and Marcel is a writer. Now that Joseph made it big time with the Machino sons, he wants to propose to Marcel. Will she say yes? Ooh, okay, so I love that story already. So they are dating and he wants to propose. So I think it would be interesting to check out their relationship panel and see like how far the relationship is in depth. And yeah, maybe you guys could see how that goes or maybe you could take the storyline even further and you know have marisol say no and maybe have her regret it oh my gosh i already have so many ideas already for this family also i just want to share the lots before i forget but there is a theater right here in the middle and then over here we have the battery so also we have the vanilla unicorn again that's the strip club and then we have a nightclub as well and we have a restaurant the mashuno restaurant just like i normally do though i am going to save some of the households for you guys to check out on your own because i like for you guys to have a little bit of support Surprise, a little bit of element of excitement. I don't want to spoil the entire save file for you guys, so just keep that in mind as well. So we do have these two guys, and they live in this very small apartment. They only have $800 starting off. Adam Lynn is a new recruit for the Four Life crew, but what the gang doesn't know is Adam is an undercover cop who wants to take down Quincy and his crew. He is so dedicated to his job that is interfering with his marriage with his wife Vanessa will he be able to take quincy down or will he get outed and potentially put his family in danger gordon carlson also joined the four life crew and has grown fond of adam how will he feel when he finds out the truth about him Ooh, okay so here's adam right here and then here is jordan carson okay so adam is the undercover cop right here and then this is jordan who's in the gang so he just joined so oh i love that i love the storytelling in this it is so good you guys definitely worth checking it out this next household which is right over here i'm telling you guys i can already see myself playing in the save file on my like off time when i'm not recording or maybe it might even be fun to check it out with you guys definitely comment down below and let me know if you guys would ever want an episode where i play through the save file for fun um and just check out all the juicy drama and like check out all of the sims and kind of like play through their lives um maybe i could check out a couple of them and like play through definitely let me know if that's something you guys are interested in because right now just reading through these bios and like all the mods that we have available i feel like it would be so much fun Okay, so this household here says Clarence has had a tough life, working a 9 to 5 and dropped out of school when he was really young. He, along with his best friend, mate, Max, was able to afford an apartment. Seeing his neighbor, Curtis, who is very smart, excel in college, got him thinking about going back to school and getting his life together. The only thing stopping him is money. With a gang living next door, 
it's best for these two to get out of this apartment complex ASAP. Okay, so they only have $600. So they're in a very small apartment and they're just trying to like live their best life. They're trying to hustle. They're trying to get out of like their current situation. So I'm definitely rooting for Curtis and Clarence, you know, let's hope the best for them. But again, the story's up to you guys. We are at the Vanilla Unicorn and I must say it looks so good. I love how it has the lights on the outside and I like the little poster in the front too. It definitely feels like a nightclub slash strip club because there's no windows. That's like the first thing I noticed. So let's check out the inside and see how it looks. Okay. Oh my gosh. These are like the ATMs. Oh gosh, you guys, this looks so good. I love the realism of this. This build looks incredible. I wanted to put the walls up just so we can see all of like the decorations because sometimes you don't always see it like this. Like sometimes you don't always see like all the walls like up here see we can see the painting right there incredible already oh my goodness it just feels like a real like strip club <laughs> i'm not gonna make any more comments about that but i'm just gonna say that yes this does look like a strip club <laughs> um wow this looks so good you guys okay so if you had um wicked whims you could have a strip club in here you could put the poles like right here in the back just to give you guys some ideas but i'm really really digging this could also have some like private dances over here you know what i'm saying i think this would be a really nice spot i just love how good this looks too like it totally feels like a real strip club in real life um wow this is incredible and then back here is where the like owner or like i don't know the manager like whomever this is where they would work I'm loving this. I'm also seeing the basement kit that we have. I think all of this looks incredible with it. I'm really loving the vibes, like the kind of grungy, dirty vibes in there. And then through here, we have where the dancers um, would get ready. And also too, like, I feel like this isn't too heavy. Like it's not, you know what I mean? Like it's not too heavy on my game, which is really nice. Um, it's running really good. Um, but yeah, and then this is an area which your Sims will come through and they can have, um, you know some dances i think this would be a really good lot to put on the gallery for people that like to have strip clubs in their game i'm already getting ideas but yeah if this isn't already on the gallery i highly suggest um for for a dream to put them on the gallery because it looks this build looks incredible so anyways guys that is the vanilla unicorn the strip club highly suggest so we have these two buildings right here right across from each other so and then in the very back of the shops we have this little area which is so cool it feels like an actual city like food trucks in a way but we have these food stalls and i really love this little detail over here again you guys know i'm all about these little details but we have um this like little booth i guess or maybe even like a bulletin board like where you would you know like get information from um but yeah i think that's so cool and then even this over here again i know you guys are probably like what the heck sab like you are all about the little details but i truly am because you can just tell how much like people like so much love and effort they put into all this over here we have like a big courtyard area where your sims can i guess they can like play football together they can play you know obviously not together with soccer but they can kick the ball around and then over here we have the little buckets of balloons where your sims can normally you know play balloons together and they like splash each other with them so it's super fun i just love how realistic and authentic this feels like i have a like shopping center area where i live currently and it truly reminds me of this like it's like one big like little shopping center but um, there's like a ton of like shopping places in between and it's just really nice but I believe your sims can walk on this area right here this like little awning so I think that's really cool too like I love the detail of that so in this side over here we have like a little bar area where your sims can sit down and drink so I like that a lot and then in this section over here we have another like bar area and this is also kind of like a dance area so it's kind of like a nightclub as well so yeah, so lots of stuff for your Sims to do in here. After checking these out, I thought this was going to be like retail shopping, but it's actually two other clubs. This place is definitely full on city vibes and I am here for it. We're in Newcrest now and I just want to show you these two builds that are right beside each other. They're incredible. These homes are honestly so beautiful and they just really feel like a realistic neighborhood that you would see in real life. And I just want to show you guys the little neighborhood that we have going on here. I'm just going to kind of pan through and like go down the row, but... 
so I don't have to go through every single one. But again, you know, I like to leave a little bit of like surprise for you guys. I don't want to like spoil everything. But yeah, I just love the way these builds look. They truly look like real homes that you see, um, you know, in real life, at least in my area or like places I've lived before. This one's missing. So this one here is probably from a pack, but I like what they did with the garages that we quote unquote have in the game. So yeah, that looks so good. I love these. These homes are so pretty though. They are so, so pretty. This one specifically, I loaded up. So I want to show this one to you guys, but I love the interior of this already. This one has like two closets right here. There's already a washer and a dryer set up for you. And I like how this is like move-in ready, kind of like how it would be in real life. Let's check out the kitchen over here. Ooh, the kitchen's so pretty. I love this. So this is definitely a very like sleek, modern build. Um, let's see how many bedrooms we potentially have. Oh, there is a big tree right there. <laughs> There's another big tree right there. So we have the kitchen living room area, I'm assuming, and then a bedroom here, a bedroom here, bathroom, and then let's go upstairs. So we have about five bedrooms. Actually, I think this is supposed to be a bedroom. Maybe this is like a home office. I'm not sure really, but you can do whatever you want with this home. That's the best part about it. Yeah, this is a humongous house. So, so beautiful. I am very, very impressed um, with the vibes. And let's check out this area. I wanted to show you guys these townhomes really quick. There's four different units in here. And just remember this safe file was built before, or I should say created before for rent came out so you will have to come in here and make it a residential rental lot but oh my god once you do this is gonna be so good not that it isn't already but it is amazing already but it's just perfect it's already set up for you to be a residential rental and let me tell you this is so good i love the vibes in here they're very nice i like the carpet so it's like you know it's not like the most classiest place but it's more probably like an older town home kind of feel you know carpet even though i mean that that shower is nice but yeah i like these a lot those are really really cool now i want to show you guys these really cute town homes as well and again i love the realism of these they just feel so realistic and definitely some town homes i have seen before in my real life and i'm probably gonna say that all the time <laughs> you guys are probably gonna get so tired of me saying that but i don't know I feel like you guys probably feel the same way like especially these more like um these like beige swatches are definitely for me like are more of like outdated um homes that you see in real life and i just really like the vibes of that because sometimes you know not all homes are super new and like updated you know sometimes like people live in outdated homes you know which i mean especially when you're first starting out like not every brand new home is like perfect so anyways i really like this layout in here i love how everything is matching like a town home as well like everything is mirrored so again it just feels very real and i love that i love this build this would be great to again change to a residential rental this save all is so good for the residential rental system i'm telling you guys I can't wait to see what all of you guys do with it. So I was super excited to check out these. These are the low income apartments. So let's go ahead and check them out together. And I can already tell you, these look so incredible. They look so freaking good. Okay, so these are supposed to be apartments. Okay, so yeah, so these are actually townhomes, but they're supposed to be low income. And again, like look at the realism in this, you guys. Like just look how kind of grungy and like worn down they are. That's the kind of vibes I love. It looks so good. I like my Sims to struggle, y'all. I don't know about you, but that's the vibes I'm here for. I want my Sims to struggle. <laughs> I want my Sims to start from absolutely nothing for them to be like living on luxury. Like that's what I'm talking about. So these right here are amazing. Like I can definitely see some Sims starting out in their life for the first time living here. Or maybe they're not in the best situation and they're trying to like you know work hard to like get in a better area so yeah i love this i love the vibes in here so much this is the house that's right across the street from the low-income apartments or townhomes whatever you guys want to call them and then this is another house as well in the neighborhood so you guys can just kind of get a sense of the vibe and then down here this is normally where the i think it's called the daisy hovel or maybe i can't remember right now i'm having a brain fart but this is the starter house that's always at the very back of the foundry cove neighborhood Ooh, and then this one here this is like a really old house as well i love the vibes of this one too i love how it looks and i also love the trees 
I don't know what it is about these homes or like this neighborhood, but I'm definitely getting like small town, like southern vibes. Here is the pool area. So this is like the little community pool. I love how we have all these like umbrellas over here with, you know, where your sims can like eat and chill. It just definitely feels, you know, again, like something you would see in real life. I appreciate that. And the fact that this pool is so small, like it's not, you know, the most extravagant pool that you would see. And again, I love that. And look, look right here we even have some water stains so again this builder is just so talented you guys i love all the tiny little details they have placed in this build and you can just tell how hard they have worked to really make this save file feel so alive with all the small details i highly suggest downloading this and yeah here is the teeny tiny little house i love this house so it's so cute i love how there's carpet in here there's two bedrooms and it's just a very small house and honestly i love how tiny it is it feels like a true starter home i think it's precious so this is the last lot that i wanted to show you guys i'm so excited for it oh my god so this is the staples build i'm gonna have this parking lot right here we've got the staples like i guess loading truck to like bring all the supplies i'm telling you guys at the end of the day it'll always be the little details for me and this creator ate it up she did so good she served us with an incredible save file so i wanted to show you one more thing before i end the video these like little tiny details really quick look at these little parking meters right here beside the cars this save file is probably going to end up being one of my favorites and i just can't wait to see what else this creator does with the save file and just remember this is like version one or maybe 1.1 or two they haven't done too many updates to it but there's going to be more in the future so again i just can't wait to see what they do with it they did an incredible job and if you're watching this dream i just want to give you the biggest like virtual hug and just thank you so much for making this you did such a good job it's incredible please go download dream scars save file immediately i'm telling you you're gonna love the backstories the lore the drama the realism of the builds it's just gonna feel like real life so if that's what you're into i'm telling you go check out the safe out. You're going to love it. I can't wait to play in it off camera. I can't wait. So anyways, drop your comments down below, your favorite families that you saw from this, your favorite builds. Tell me if you are enjoying the vibes. I can't wait to hear from you guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you want to see more safe all videos. Definitely let me know.